In the last video, we saw that when we heat ice in a beaker, the temperature rises till the melting point of ice, that is 0 degrees Celsius. Once this temperature is reached, the temperature does not increase till all the ice melts to water, even though the heat is continuously supplied. The question arises, where does the heat energy go? To understand this, let us have a look at the particle level of ice. Ice is a solid. All the particles are well ordered and help, held by strong interparticle attractive forces. However, particles keep vibrating at their place. When the energy is supplied to ice in the form of heat through the burner, the particles absorb heat and convert this into kinetic energy. As a result, their vibrations increase. This increased kinetic energy gets recorded by the thermometer as increase in temperature. Once the melting point of ice is reached, the heat energy is now utilized to weaken the interparticle forces one after another, leaving the particles free to move. This is the conversion of matter into liquid state. Note that the kinetic energy is not increasing and the temperature does not rise. Since all the heat energy supplied by burner is utilized in weakening of the particle forces, because of the weakened interparticle forces, the structure of the solid collapses and cannot hold its this shape. This leads to conversion of a solid into liquid. During this conversion of solid, kinetic energy of particles remain unchanged. Hence, the temperature also remains unchanged, in this case at 0 degrees Celsius. The energy we are supplying is not getting recorded in the thermometer. It gets hidden in the beaker. This energy is called latent energy or latent heat. Latent means hidden. The exact definition of latent heat of fusion is as follows. The amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kilogram of solid into liquid at its atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as latent heat of fusion. Can you now define latent heat of vaporization?